Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Mr. Double back with another video, and today I'm going to show you how to make this really simple but really colorful intro in Sony Vegas Pro 12. So let's get started. It's really simple, and I'm pretty sure this is only for Pro 12, but I could be wrong. It might be for Pro 11 too. But right now, I'm, I'm going to stick with Pro 12 because I don't know, I don't remember much about 11. So let's get started. One thing we'll need is a big plain image. Now I have one right over here, and the, the the link will be in the description below, and it looks like this. It looks pretty simple, like that. Uh, now I don't. Hmm. I might have it in my system files. Let's see. Uh, I forgot the name. Oh yeah, I remember. Simple intro. Here it is. This is what it looks like. So yeah, it looks like that. It's it's pretty simple and cool looking. So how about we just get you know started on making it? Let's go. Okay, now I don't remember the exact one that was on that, that background, it um, unfortunately got deleted so I won't be able to view it anymore, and I don't remember what I searched, but I usually search it on Google Images. Okay, so the background image that you want should be in the bottom like so. Now you can always color correct video, so go to video effects and go to color corrector. I'm going to go to color curves because I like color curves better, but basically they're pretty much the same thing. I'll go to default and put that on there. I'm going to make it a little bit brighter because it's way too dark at the edges for me. Uh, increase the darks there you go I like that and as you can see the edges are pitch black so we're gonna right click on our bottom image and go to properties and then maintain aspect ratio that removes the black bars make sure you always do this in whatever videos you ever make alrighty then let's insert another video track so just right click and go to insert video track and there you go now what we need to do is we need to insert our little strip uh, that colorful line that goes past the screen so it's really simple actually. Go to media generators and go to where is it? Solid color. Right there. And you can choose from any color you want. You can even make your own color. I mean, so all the colors are not here, obviously. So let's start off with orange. Just put that on there like so. And then the whole screen's gonna be orange. There you go. Alrighty then. Now you can always change the color by clicking on this over here and then changing it to whatever you want. But I'm gonna keep with orange. Alright? So let's make it an actual strip. So right click on the color that you, whatever you want on top, and go to Video Pen Cropped. Alrighty then. Now that we're here, go to Mask, and then uh, you know check mark that little box, and then select the triangle, the rectangle, sorry. <laughs> make sure everything is unselected, and just make a strip wherever you want, like so. And it just makes a little bit rectangly thingy like, like that. You can make this as thick as you want or as thin as you want, it's really up to you. But that's really all you need to do with that. Now we're going to add a little bit of 3D depth. Uh, and to do that, we're going to go to Video Effects. And we're going to go to Bump Map. And here it is. So if we put, for example, this flat one on top of this, uh, it gives this nice looking 3D look. Um, we could increase the intensity. This will make it uh, you know, wider. And we could increase the focus. This will make it a lot more like you know wider again and you know this looks good I'm gonna decrease this a little bit it's really up to you whatever suits your eye best but I'm liking this so far okay one thing I actually forgot to do was that we forgot to feather so if we go back to the pan cropped over here we can see that the feather option is right here so go to feather out and then put this to about feather 5 5 is usually really nice uh, yeah 5 is, five is I like 5 you can decrease it or increase it. it's really up to you uh, this line's a little bit too thick, so I'm going to edit that. Uh, sorry for background noise. Alrighty then, I like that a lot. Now we're going to insert our text. So, whatever you want for your text, we're going to have to insert another video track. So right click and insert text. And now right, no sorry, right click, insert video track. And now right click and insert text media. Type in whatever you want. Uh, hmm. I'll just type in whatever. Any font looks nice with this, but I recommend like a skinny font that looks fancy-ish. So, uh, let's see. I like uh, Segoe UI, like, I don't know how to pronounce it. But I like this font a lot. Now you could have it really big or you could have it smaller. Uh, like, th okay, hold on. Go to scale and just, you know, decrease the size like so. Uh, adjust it so it comes up right underneath it. Just like that. Okay, now that we're still here, you're gonna wanna have to select an animation, all right? You can choose any animation you want, but I found out that the, hold on, what's this? Slide from left, uh, I don't know, scroll left? I don't remember which one I chose, 
but it was one of these and they worked they, they worked out quite nicely uh, so how about we look at this one so hold on my Sony X is lagging a bit okay so it flies in like this let's decrease this uh, this does take a lot of power from your computer and I am running Mozilla Firefox in the background alrighty then as you can see that's what happens it flies in like so it flies in from the right side now you're gonna have to adapt your line to the animation so what I mean by that is that you want the line coming in from the right from the exact same location that this is coming in so to do that we're gonna have to go to transitions go to transitions and go to hmm anything actually you want but I'm gonna choose where did that option go hmm. Uh, crowd dissolve flash gradient uh, linear wipe I like this one a lot okay you can really select anyone you want but I'm gonna choose this one right here right left soft edge soft I found soft edges to be the best so now we could go frame by frame by clicking this button to see make sure everything is nice and tight okay <laughs> make sure everything is nice and tidy but it's not there's a problem here so I want this to come out earlier so we're just gonna move the text forward a little bit and we're gonna add a little bit of a fade so it's not too sudden and to add a fade just go to the top and clip it and bring it back in so if we watch this again as you can see that's perfect timing and now that's long enough for this so we're gonna close it up right now bring it all the way to the edge by grabbing the end and bring the text in like that too and we're gonna make both of them fade at the same time alright so to do that just uh, make sure the timeline is at a certain point like pretty deep into it on the back end and then just drag it like this and that's going to create a fade so if we watch this we can see that it fades away and now we're going to add our next uh, maybe like two or three lines you know this could go on as long as you want it to be but I would recommend about five seconds I found five seconds to be a reasonable time for an intro so we're going to do the same exact thing that we just did over here and yeah so just copy that again I'll do it one more time I'm not going to do it the third time because it's going to get pretty repetitive but let's choose yellow this time make sure it lines right up with the thing so like right up to the neck of it and I'll decrease this to about the same size as this you're gonna have to eyeball this there is a there's an exact method but that's just gonna take too much time so we're just gonna eyeball it sorry about the timeline coming in okay there you go so as you can see it's a little bit smaller so I'm, we're just gonna make this a little bit bigger like that alrighty then now we're gonna do the same things go to pan crop there's another uh, see event pan crop by clicking the little square over here or you can always right click and then go to pan crop like that so same thing go to mask check mark it uh, stay with this and I want this one going like this I want it going down so how about there you go and now we're gonna feather out and feather five there you go I like that okay now we're gonna add our 3d depth and we're gonna add that by going to video effects and going to bump map it's already selected and you could choose anyone you want I'm gonna st I'm gonna go with this one now it's good to change it up as you can see it looks uh, it looks all right not the best so how about we adjust this a little bit huh alrighty that looks nice um if we go to full it's gonna look better but my computer is lagging during recording so I don't want to do that as you can see it looks a little bit better you'd always adjust it right now it's just for example purposes so now we're gonna insert our text uh, we'll just add another jumble because I'm running out of things to write. Uh, change the font to anything. You keep it the same or change it up. Uh, really up to you. Uh, where did it go? There you go. Make it smaller. There you go. Drag it in. Okay. So now we can choose anyone we want again. Uh, something something that would be nice is that if it was flying up. So fly jump. Uh, menace pop up. I don't know. I really I'm really not good with this so how about we watch this to see what it looks like so go frame by frame to actually see what the animation is there you go that's nice I like that and then it fades away it fades in from the bottom okay then so make sure everything's lined up like this and now we're gonna have to do a little what's some columns a little transition on the on the beginning of the yellow line so go to transitions you could choose anything you want I'm gonna go with this one uh, okay as you can see it's gonna come in from the top well yeah the top now so if we watch this we have to make sure everything matches up there you go um, now the footage will automatically overlap a little bit that's okay it actually you know works with it so it works good 
it will do it automatically so you don't need to worry about it and there you go that comes up and now we're going to want to make it fade out so fade out there you go so now they're both going to fade out okay that's automatic uh, now you are going to want to add another one three is always good i think two looks weird but now one thing you probably i don't know if you guys noticed or not but if you watch this again uh, simple intro you can see that the coloring in the background actually changes it a little bit so if it would just pop up my computer is running rather slowly today uh, as you can see the back the background changes it's purple now it's gonna go again orange green not blue <laughs> and then purple there you go so we're gonna change the color up a little bit on here too uh, and, and we're gonna do that by clicking on our background text is the most bottomest one and when we click on it when it's blue like this press s and the s will split it make sure you split it right when one of the color ends okay now that it has ended we can go to video effects and we can go to color corrector and select the default one and just put it over the background on the first segment of your color the new stripe color and you can change it to anyone you want i'm going to stick with the color of the stripe because it looks nice but there you go, that looks nice. It's, it's a bit too much, but this is just a tutorial. So yeah. And as you can see, it's, it's going to change as soon as it gets over here. And we're going to change it to a nice yellow. So how about we put that on there too? There you go. So now if we watch this again, we can watch this transition go on. It's orange, and it does this thing, and then it changes to this. Okay. And now, that little thing that you saw at the end where my thing came up, it's actually really easy. So we can actually do that right now, and that is by make sure when you're at the end, how, however many stripes you put in, just press S on the bottom text. So when you're done with all the stripes, just put this on here. And now you can just put in your username, whatever you want to put in, maybe your URL. Uh, there you go. Change the uh, text to anything you want. Go to this light you could have a big but I would recommend it a little bit smaller like that okay so now that, that you have s pressed here we're gonna make this fade in a little bit so go to the beginning and make it fade in so if we watch this right now we can see that it fades in kind of fades in <laughs> it's close enough okay so when the fade is over on your username text drag the the background all the way up to the timeline like this okay now that this is good we're gonna go to transitions and you can really choose any transition to remove the background but I found that dissolve looks really nice no no god dang it not oh yeah it is dissolve it is dissolve but I found another one that looks really nice too I can't really find it right now oh there you go gradient white looks really nice you could really use any of these but I use the nebulous one so put that on top of that like that Ooh. It's not working. There you go, it worked. So now we can see that. Oh no, I messed up. God dang it. I'm sorry, guys. So we have to actually have this in the back. So make sure you stop the text to make sure your intro doesn't go too much. Like that. I'm sorry, it got messed up. But, anyways, make sure that your text segment is not too long. This is a good text segment right here. So it's about like one second long, I think. Yeah, one second up for your gamer tag. Not God dang it, not your gamer tag. Well, I guess it could be your gamer tag. Anyways, uh, end it. So the transition goes at the end of your background for the end of the intro. So we can watch this right now like this, and then it disappears. So now if we watch the whole intro, I delete this segment because you don't need it. Uh, as you can see, it does this stripe thing. It goes like that. And then, uh, you know what? That's too short, isn't it? We're going to make it a little bit longer. I think that might have been too long. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's a bit too long, but whatever. It's tutorial. Um, as you can see, in the bam. There you go. That's a kind of like it, I guess. Uh, it might have been a bit rusty, but if you increase the timing between these clips, making them like a little bit bigger, maybe one second for each line, and then you know it'll be a pretty nice looking intro. 
a little bit like this. I'm going to show it again one last time to make sure you guys know exactly what it's going to look like for you if you put a little bit of effort into it. There you go, this line right here, that, and then that. Now one more thing you can do before I leave, that is you can change the opacity of the line. If you if you notice that the lines were a little bit dull in my intro that I showed you, and, and I did that by clicking on this blue thing on the top, and that's the opacity, and by lowering it. I found that about like 65 to 50 percent looks really nice, and we could do that over here too. See, uh, now the lines are a little bit more see-through and it looks a little bit nicer. Yeah, that's pretty much all. I'm sorry if I was a little bit rusty. I haven't done tutorial for a while, but I think I think it went well. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, if you want to subscribe, go ahead. I do make a lot of these tutorials. And, yeah, that's pretty much all. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.